The S prop in React allows you to take one of your existing components but render a different HTML tag. For example, here I use my primary button but I render an anchor tag instead, a link. Many component libraries implement this feature but you can also build this yourself for your own components. And this is how it works. Create an interface that contains this S prop as an optional value. By using a generic type here that extends React element type, we can allow passing any JSX tag for this S prop. You have to add the same generic type argument to the button component itself. We pass button as the default value because by default we want to render a button and accept the same props as a button takes. We set the type of these button props to our button props interface, which contains the S prop, and we create an intersection type with component props without ref of type T. This component props without ref allows us to pass any props that our S element type expects. For example, here I pass a next link for S, and since a link takes an href prop, we can now pass href to our button component and we even get auto completion. Lastly, you can render your dynamic S component like this. If you want to see the whole process step by step, check out my stream chat tutorial on YouTube where we implement this. The link to the playlist is in my bio.